I am Dr. Shivakumar, heading the Department of Pediatric Cardiology at the Madras Medical Mission. In our department, we take care of congenital heart diseases, which means birth defects of the heart. Birth defects of the heart affect goes to about 1% of children born throughout the world. Some of the lesions are simple, which involve just hole in the septum that is separating the right and left sided heart chambers. These are easily treated with one-time corrective measures and these children do not need any further care. However, there are certain birth defects that affect the heart valves which may need repeated treatment. Heart valves are structures that are present in the heart which allow unidirectional flow of blood from the chamber towards the blood vessel so that the blood does not re-enter the cardiac chambers. There are four valves, pulmonary valve, aortic valve, mitral and tricuspid valve. Children with congenital heart disease are notorious in having abnormalities of the pulmonary valves. These diseases cause blue baby syndrome, which means these children are born with bluish discoloration of the body caused by reduced levels of oxygen in their blood. The problems that affect the pulmonary valve can be either severe narrowing of the pulmonary valve or a leak of the pulmonary valve. Both these will affect the right ventricle. The right sided heart chambers will get enlarged, will get thickened and over a period of time will get weakened thereby leading to significant symptoms of breathing difficulty, tiredness, fatigue and inability to carry out their routine day-to-day -day activities. Whenever these valves malfunction, the treatment will be placing another tube which contains a valve which is taken out either from a human cadaver which are called homografts or from animal tissues which are called xenografts. The problem with these tubes are that they do not last for the lifetime of the patient. They last only for about one to two decades after which they may need a change. So imagine the situation of a young child who is getting operated. The child is going to have a periodic repeated heart surgeries almost once in 10 years to 15 years. Unfortunately on the diseases that affect the pulmonary valve there are no medications that are going to help. So we have to think about changing the valve. And one of the treatment called percutaneous pulmonary valve implantation is a method where we avoid open heart surgery and we will be able to place a valve in the pulmonary position without the patient having to undergo a major open heart surgery by a repeated cut through the chest. Percutaneous pulmonary valve implantation is a method that has been in practice for the last almost close to 22 years. A heart valve is miniaturized into a small tube and this tube is passed from the groin blood vessels into the heart. And the valve is expanded in a very precise location in the region of the pulmonary position so that the new valve that has been expanded will function very efficiently, prevent any narrowing of these valve conduits and prevent a leak of the valve. This will help in recovery of the right ventricular function and leading to significant improvement of the symptoms. The major advantage of this procedure is that we have avoided an open heart surgery which involves use of a heart-lung machine. If they have a percutaneous pulmonary valve, within a matter of 24 to 48 hours, they'll be up and about and they will be able to resume their school or college or their occupation within a matter of one week. It's a good treatment which helps a rapid recovery back to good health with good recovery of the right ventricular function as well.
The terminology PPVI means percutaneous pulmonary valve implantation. Sometimes it's also called as transcatheter pulmonary valve implantation or non-surgical pulmonary valve implantation all mean the same. This procedure offers substantial advantages by avoiding blood transfusions, by avoiding prolonged ventilation, avoiding prolonged intensive care stay. Most of the time these patients will be back to normal food and normal mobility within a matter of 24 hours. They will be able to walk the next day morning comfortably and the duration of hospital stay will be restricted to just around two days. It is important for patients who are having these complex forms of birth defects of the heart who have undergone procedures such as percutaneous pulmonary valve implantation to come for regular checkups periodically once in a year or once in two years get their heart checked with tests like echocardiography and ECG and ensure that the heart valves that has been implanted are functioning well. Following percutaneous pulmonary valve implantation, we advise the patient to adhere to good lifestyle practices. Number one, they should care of their Take care of their teeth meticulously and avoid any dental infections which may sometimes cause infective endocarditis. Infective endocarditis refers to infection of the heart valves from the bacteria that come from the tooth flora. Similarly, maintaining a good skin hygiene, avoiding tattooing is also very important.